Welcome. In this video, we are going to look into moderation. What is moderation? How to run moderation, how to interpret and how to report. Starting with what is a moderating variable? Now, a moderating variable is one that modifies the existing relationship between the independent and dependent variable. That is, it holds a contingent effect on the association of the IV and DV. Although moderating variable MV is not influenced by IV, but it affects the strength and direction of the relationship between independent and dependent variable. For instance, the theory suggests that dissatisfaction at work leads to turnover. However, this might not be true in developing countries like Pakistan. The reason could be attributed to a third variable, which is job opportunities. So what we expect is that if you are dissatisfied at work, this could or this should rather lead to turnover. You should leave your job. But this seldom happens. Why? Because there is a third variable that influences this relationship. And that third variable is referred to as job opportunities. Now, in this particular case, job opportunities is modifying the ex existing expected relationship between IV, that is dissatisfaction at work, and DV, the turnover. As naturally, if someone is dissatisfied at work, he, she would think of moving to some other job. So we would say that job opportunities is a moderating variable. So now what is moderation? When moderation is present, the strength or even the direction of relationship between two constructs depend upon the third variable, which is the moderating variable. Moderation describes a situation in which the relationship between two constructs is not constant, but depends on the values of a third variable referred to as a moderator variable. As was the case in the last example, where job opportunities weakened the relationship. In other words, the nature of relationship differs depending on the values of the third variable. This is how we can represent the relationship of moderating variable between independent variable and dependent variable through a diagrammatic view. This is our moderating variable influencing the expected or already present relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. Now for the sake of this video, we've got an example. What we are going to do is, we look into how servant leadership affects role conflict and whether or not this relationship is modified, strengthened or weakened by community hostility. So what we expect is that there is a negative relationship between servant leadership which is defined by these seven indicators. Let's rename it. And its effect on role conflict which we expect to be negative. So a higher servant leadership would lead to lower role conflict. Let's shift our indicators and community hostility is our moderator. So we rename it CH. Now in order to add moderating variable, let's hide the indicators for now. Now in order to add the moderating variable, let's first develop these relationships so servant leadership affecting role conflict now in in moderation the moderator is not affected by the independent variable now in order to define moderation in smart pls what you need to do is you need to link your moderator to the dependent variable now this is the first step the next step is click on or right click on your dependent variable and then add moderating effect it will ask you which one is your moderator so ch is our moderator which one is your independent variable servant leadership is our independent variable let's go for product indicator 
and leave the rest as is and press OK. Now you have added the moderating variable. So what do you see in here? If we press and open it, what you see is the interaction of the moderator with the independent variable. So each one of the SL items interact with each one of the CH items. And same is the case with the CH. So if we look in, there are quite a few variables or indicators. Let's rename the moderating variable is mod under dash or oh, let's name it underscore sl dash underscore rc okay now in order to run this let's go to let's run and we are interested in path let's start here are our results now if we see well yes there is significant moderating effect then there is a negative relationship between servant leadership and role conflict and we are not interested in this okay so there is significant moderation so now how do we interpret this moderation to do this let's go back to our model and let's see the slope analysis let's start and what we are interested in is this simple slope analysis now if you look here what we've got here we've got three things this negative line represents the relationship between servant leadership and role conflict at lower community hostility this blue line actually represents servant leadership and its impact on role conflict at mean level and the green line actually represents community hostility or the relationship between servant leadership and road conflict at higher level of community hostility now what we see is this blue line actually represents the normal relationship so a lower servant leadership score would mean higher conflict and a higher servant leadership score would mean lower conflict now if we look at this green line here this is pretty straight line so this means that at a higher community hostility the relationship is actually not as as it seems even but if we look at this other red line so at lower community hostility the impact of servant leadership or the negative impact of servant leadership on the relationship conflict actually stands so when the community hostility is low, this gives strength to the relationship of servant leadership and role conflict. So when community hostility is actually low, this helps the in, in actually influencing or creating an impact of servant leadership on role conflict. So when community hostility is high, servant leadership actually fails to Im impact role conflict. So this is how you can explain this moderating relationship. Let's copy this chart and we paste it into our Word document for interpretation purposes. Now this is more clear here. We see this line, this green line, this is actually pretty straight. So this shows that at higher community hostility, actual uh, uh, servant leadership actually fails to influence role conflict, which is pretty evident in at mean level or at the negative level now you see these colors have changed after copying so that doesn't matter actually now what are, what was our hypothesis our hypothesis was that community hostility moderates the relationship between servant leadership and role conflict now how does it moderate such that higher level of community hostility would strengthen the negative relationship between servant leadership and role conflict we according to situational strength theory we assumed that when community hostility is high this will actually increase the impact of or the negative impact of servant leadership on countering relationship or sorry role conflict however this did not happen what happened was the opposite of it 
कि एट लोअर कम्युनिटी हॉस्टिलिटी सर्वेंट लीडरशिप वॉज मोर इफेक्टिव इन काउंटरिंग द रोल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट now you can easily interpret the results here and how you do it the you first you can simply briefly explain your hypothesis the hypothesis sort to ascertain the moderating role of community hostility between some leadership and role the results revealed that community hostility moderates the relationship between some leadership and role conflict now how does it moderate so we just going to copy the path coefficients and other details so it's 0.22244 3.431 the t value is equal to is the t value is equal to 3.431 the value is less than 0.001 now however the the moderation did not turn out to what was expected so however the results reveal one that at higher community hostility the servant leadership fails to impact role conflict the results revealed that at lower community hostility servant leadership was found to have a stronger impact on role conflict now this is how you can explain the results of your moderation analysis using or when you've done your moderation analysis through smart pls or maybe any other software so this is how you present your hypothesis and report your results i hope this video would have helped you understand the concept of moderation how to run moderation interpret the results and report moderation analysis Thank you very much.